on one side, subject to comparisons with Ronaldinho Gaúcho and possessing absurd potential. On the other, controversies, physical problems, off-field issues and the target of a police investigation. This is Anderson, one of the greatest talents to emerge in Brazilian football in the 21st century. A career of success, yet one that could have been much greater. How did the career of the Manchester United legend fall so short of expectations, marred by controversies? That's what you'll find out now on Brazilian Talent. Welcome to Brazilian Talent. Today, we'll learn more about Anderson, a generational talent that could have been even greater. Stay tuned, as we'll even discuss why the former athlete was the subject of police investigations for money laundering. So let's see more about him. A product of the Ruben Berta neighborhood in the outskirts of Porto Alegre, Anderson came from a family with serious financial problems. Football? It was the way to change his life. And so it happened. Full of talent, the player was an attacking midfielder with stints in the Brazilian youth national teams. At just 16 years old, he got his first opportunity as a professional at Grêmio. Debut against the biggest rival, international, no problem for him. The kid scored the team's goal in the three, one defeat becoming the youngest player to score in the 21st century at that time. Playing only the final six matches of the league, Anderson couldn't prevent the club's relegation. However, his career skyrocketed. He became the team's main player in the second division in 2005. His salary rose from 800 Brazilian reais to 40,000 Brazilian reais per month. In June of the same year, he was already sold to Porto through Jorge Mendes. Furthermore, he stayed until the end of the year at the club that revealed him being a protagonist and scoring the goal for promotion to the first division in the so-called Battle of the Aflitos. Arriving at Porto, Anderson drew attention. His creativity and skill were uncommon. Since he arrived in the European winter, he had few games in the initial season. Rumors say that coach Co Adrians, in fact, didn't give him many minutes to try to keep him in Portugal for at least one more season. He already knew about his grand talent and that it would be a matter of time before a team with more economic power would take him from Portugal. The next journey came, he became a key piece of the team and was fundamental for Porto's national conquests. Even breaking his foot in the middle of the season, he managed to recover and come back as strong as before. Moreover, at the end of the season, he was an important piece in Brazil's Copa America title. It was clear, the Portuguese league was too small for such talent. Real Madrid, Chelsea, they tried. But Anderson's destiny was Manchester United, under command, Sir Alex Ferguson. The coach had met him in the previous pre-season and fell in love with the kids' football. At 19, he joined the team in 2007, along with Nani. The two became friends with the star Cristiano Ronaldo and were invited to live with the Portuguese star to facilitate the young player's adaptation process. Anderson quickly established himself as a key player. His debut came against Sunderland, but his life truly changed in his second game against Wigan. After Paul Scholes' injury, he was improvised in a deeper position as a midfielder. With his versatility, passing range, and ability to drive the team forward, he took the position and never looked back. The season was the athlete's highlight, with a fantastic campaign culminating in the Premier League and UEFA Champions League titles, including a goal in the penalty shootout against Chelsea. The magical year also brought Anderson the Golden Boy Award, given to the best young player of the season. The expectations of being the new Ronaldinho were real, and for some teammates, the potential was to reach the top of the world. 
just like his national team companion had done. But wait, this story that seemed like it couldn't go wrong is about to take a turn, even involving the police. Stay with us, you're about to find out. In the following season, the promising career began to encounter problems. Anderson started dealing with injuries, some quite serious. He began to struggle with consistency on the field and gradually lost his place. His confidence was no longer the same. Besides the physical issues, the athlete was frequently seen drinking in the nightlife, overweight and having problems with the English press. While recovering from one of his knee injuries in 2010, the problems exploded. Anderson was involved in a car accident that narrowly avoided being fatal. The athlete was at a nightclub and intoxicated on his way back around 7 a.m. He crashed heavily into a wall, wrecking the vehicle. Fortunately, neither he nor the two friends in the car were injured. Anderson seemed like a lost cause for United. However, he had the support and confidence of one of his biggest fans, Alex Ferguson. The legendary coach never stopped believing in the athlete. However, after Ferguson retired in 2013, the scenario changed. With changes in leadership at United, Anderson lost his place. In early 2014, he was loaned to Fiorentina in Italy. Overweight, lacking match fitness and confidence, the athlete played little and returned to United. The following year, therefore, would mark the end of the line for him at United. Louis van Gaal took over the team, and he wasn't very fond of the athlete. The then manager of the Red Devils sidelined Anderson to train with the under-23 team. It marked the end of a story filled with highs and lows. It was time to come back home. The destination? The greatest rival of the team that revealed him, international. Anderson revealed years later that Grêmio, the team that projected him, never made a approach for his football and wanting to return to his hometown, he chose international. After the agreement, Grêmio's fans were furious. In the Porto Alegre team, Anderson had ups and downs. He managed to contribute at some moments, but couldn't replicate his previous football, partly because injuries kept haunting him. In the end, he fell short of expectations. The lowest point was the team's relegation for the first time in history in the year 2017. The athlete became the target of constant criticism, greatly amplified by his identification with the biggest rival. There was no more atmosphere. After that, he moved to another Brazilian club, Coritiba. The passage was marked by numerous injuries and few games. Although he had little activity, his resume includes another relegation. After a sabbatical year, Anderson returned at the age of 30 to play for Adana Demirspor in the Turkish second division. The athlete managed to have a sequence of games, but his weight and body no longer allowed him to play at a high level. As a result, he decided to retire at the age of 31. However, he continued at the Turkish club for a few more years. With an ongoing contract, the athlete reduced his high salary and continued as a director of the team, where he helped the club to structure itself, develop new players, and establish itself in the national first division. But how did his name resurface in a police scandal? Well, in the year 2021, his name was linked to a gang. He was accused, along with seven other people, of suspicion of organized crime and qualified theft. A scheme that diverted around 35 million Brazilian reais through interceptions of bank accounts. Athlete. He's not very active on social media, gives few interviews, and leads a quiet life, enjoying his family. Anderson was like a comet. Due to his talent on the field, it's impossible not to imagine what he could have become if he didn't suffer from so many injuries and had a little more commitment. The truth is that he is a great character and a great Brazilian talent who left his mark on one of the biggest clubs in the world. And for you, what was the main factor that overshadowed Anderson's career? Thank you for accompanying us on this journey. Don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe to get to know more and more Brazilian talents. Until next time, Brazilian talent, the best from the best football in the world.